good morning today we can see the topic called logic and data driven models first we can see logic driven models these are the models created on the basis of inferences and postulations which the sample space and existing condition provide creating logical models requires solid understanding of business functional areas logical skills to evaluate the proportions better and knowledge of business practices and research to understand better let us take an example of a customer who visit a restaurant around 6 times in a year and spend around rupees 5000 per visit the restaurant get around 40 percentage margin on per visit billing amount the annual gross profit on the customer turns out to be 5000 into 6 into 0.4 which gives 12000 30% of the customer do not return each year while 70% do not return to provide more business to the restaurant the logic driven model is one based on experience knowledge and logical relationship of variables and constants connected to the desired business performance outcome situation the question here is how to put variable and constant together to create a model that can predict the future doing this requires business experience model building requires an understanding of building system and the relationship of variables and constant that seeks to generate the desirable business performance outcome to help conceptualization the relation inherent in a business system diagramming methods can be helpful for example cause and effect diagram is a visual aid diagram that permits you to use a hypothesis relationship between potential and cause of an outcome here i have shown the cause and effect diagram to see environment material methods human resource and technology or the cause as a result the effect is poor business performance data driven model logic driven model is often used as a first step to establish relationship through data driven model using data collected from many sources to quantitatively establish model relationship types of data driven models sampling and estimation is the first type sampling is a selection of subset or a statistical sample of individuals from within a statistical population to estimate characteristics of the whole population the subset is meant to reflect the whole population and statistical attempt to collect samples that are representative on the population samples has lower cost and faster data collection compared to recording data from the under population and thus it can provide insight in cases why it is infeasible to measure an entire population next one is regression analysis it is a set of statistical methods used to for the estimation of <coughs> relationship between a dependent variable and one of the more independent variable it can be utilized to assess the strength of the relationship between variables and for modeling the future relationship between them next one is correlation analysis it is a statistical method that is used to discover if there is a relationship between two variables or data sets and how strong that relationship may be next one is probability distribution the probability distribution gives the possibility of each outcome of a random experiment or event it provides the probabilities of different possible occurrences that's all about the topic thank you